in Brevard County State Troopers are looking for the driver who hit a man in a wheelchair and drove off. This happened last night on US-1 in Canaveral Groves Boulevard. West Coast Tony Atkins spoke with people in the neighborhood about the crash and making this area safer. State troopers spent hours at this intersection looking to find a person who hit and killed a man in a wheelchair and took off. Investigators say it happened just before 10.30 Thursday night, and for the next three hours, they searched for clues and camera video. That's terrible. We're told the suspect may have been driving a Buick Enclave like this, likely a model between 2013 and 2017. FHP says this crash happened on the shoulder of the road here on US-1 heading southbound. Now, people I spoke with today, they say that it's dangerous because there's not enough sidewalk paved here along the road to make it safe for pedestrians. You'll notice there'll be sidewalks and then it just cuts off, disappears, forcing people into the grass, you know, and then the bike lane also disappears up a ways over this way. Because of this, Wanda Dunn says people driving, cycling, and walking all need to be alert. No one pays attention to the light changes. No one pays attention to the bike lanes. There's been multiple times where there's also jaywalking. People get too impatient and they don't use the crossing light signals at all. Nonetheless, people here say what happened is both heartbreaking and scary. For someone to run off after hitting someone, that's horrible. Something needs to be done out here. Uh, now I just have to be extra careful. FHP says if you know anything about what happened and who that driver could be, give them a call or call Crime Line. Reporting in Brevard County, Tony Atkins, West 2 News.